Good morning, church. It's Tuesday morning. Take your Bibles and go to Acts chapter 15, and we're going to be talking about the final lesson on the Apostle Paul. We left you last time with Paul going on missionary journeys, starting churches, uh, appointing leaders of those churches. And so these churches are being born all over the kingdom of, of the Roman Empire, and they're going to be witnesses in their, in their uh, societies wherever God has planted them. Well, Paul continues to do this, but also Paul is doing signs, miracles, and wonders. The signs of an apostle were, were being done by him. And that was to confirm to Peter and to John and to the rest of the disciples that God has called him. Only Jesus could give someone that kind of power. And yet, right in the midst of all this, we see something happen where the church was in Jerusalem, and that was the center of things. Now it's shifting to the Gentile world, and there's a conflict in chapter 15, and Paul is a primary in that. And that is, there are people going into the churches that Paul and Barnabas have been starting, and they are following them, and when Paul leaves, they're saying, hey, Paul's right, Jesus is the Messiah, but Paul's wrong. You're not saved unless you've been circumcised, unless you keep the law of Moses, and that includes the Old Testament dietary laws and, and feast days and all those things, you're, you're not saved. And it was upsetting many. And so James didn't deal with this, who was the leader in Jerusalem, and really even Peter didn't deal with it like it should have been dealt with. Paul had to send a delegation, and, and Paul himself went up and said, guys, we need to settle this thing. We, we need to get this settled. And so the main conference of the, the New Testament, the Jerusalem Council, finally settles this issue. That's how important Paul was. And then all the letters that Paul wrote would be based on this. Salvation is by grace through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ alone, not through any kind of works, it's not through circumcision. And for all the rest of his ministry, he will defend that. And that's where you get all these books helping people understand that salvation is apart from works. Salvation leads to works. Now, in this Jerusalem council where Peter is at, James seems to be the mediator, the, the moderator of, of this event because he's the lead pastor in Jerusalem and everybody's there. It says in verse number 15, uh, chapter 15, verse 1, certain men came down from Judea, taught the brethren, unless you are circumcised according to customs of Moses, you cannot be saved. And so they come up to the council in verse number 6. The apostles and the elders came together to consider the matter. Then Peter, thank God for Peter. God put him in that position of leadership for a reason. He was willing to boldly say what needed to be said. Though he didn't always understand everything, and sometimes he, he could get his foot in his mouth, but he was willing to say, guys, listen, you all know that God is the one who sent me to some Gentiles, and he chose me to go and to share the gospel with these Gentiles. And they were saved in the same way that we are saved. They were saved through belief, through, through grace, and that they are saved. Can anybody doubt that? And he says in verse 18, known to God from eternity of all his works. Only, only he understands all these things. Only God understands these things. And so they hammered this out. And because of Peter's testimony that, listen, without a doubt, Cornelius' household, those people received the Holy Spirit of God. There were signs of the Holy Spirit of God. There was a conversion, and they were not circumcised. They're just as saved as you and I are saved. They were baptized after the fact. They're just as saved as we are. And from that moment on, the church embraced salvation by grace through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, there are a lot of groups today who have gone back to a work salvation. The entire Catholic faith is built on the fact that works salvation. Many other denominations are built on 
a works salvation. Yes, they believe in Jesus. Yes, they believe in the virgin birth, the miracles of Jesus, the resurrection of Jesus. But they believe that a person is made right with God through sacraments, through works, through other things. And that was settled 2,000 years ago. Thank God for the Apostle Paul and his boldness. Then Paul continues with several more uh, missionary journeys. Churches are born, established. Paul eventually is arrested, and he himself will be, will be beheaded in Rome, giving testimony that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Let's pray together. Father, we again thank you for men like Paul, like Peter, like James, men whom you have used of old, apostles of the faith. Help to establish the doctrines that we live by. Help us, Father, never, never to get caught up in the things of this world, as do so many, and upset the faith of others. But help us to follow the word completely and clearly. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.